COCs, providers, and the public can monitor the performance of their homeless system of care using three dashboards created by SimTech Solutions. The dashboards allow users to look at project performance, key outcomes, and client demographics. Each dashboard presents a different lens into the data, so users need to make sure they're using the correct dashboard for the question that they're trying to answer. This video will briefly introduce you to the dashboards and help you understand which one is best for your use. The Community Performance Dashboards give you a broad overview of demographics and individual level data. On the Community Performance Dashboards, you can see individual and household level data that is deduplicated. You can filter by time range, age, ethnicity, gender identity, veteran status, region, project type, and household type. Let's say you want to know how many females under age 30 are experiencing homelessness and being served in your community. This is the type of question that the community performance dashboards can answer. You simply use the filters to change age down to having a maximum of 30. Instead of sliding, you can also type in the number that you are looking for. and selecting female on the gender dropdown. Please note that while we can show you metrics such as income per household, we cannot show you household race, age, gender, etc. because households are made up of multiple individuals. However, in each household, there is one person who is designated the head of household. We can show you information about that individual, and we show you key metrics about the households based on the head of household. Project performance dashboards are for comparing how one project or project type is performing compared to another or to the system as a whole, based on annual performance. For those of you familiar with HUD language, this dashboard is a visual rendering of HUD's annual performance reports, or APRs. Be aware, clients are able to enroll in multiple projects, so the numbers that you see are unique at the project level and are not deduplicated client counts. For example, one specific person might be served in both an emergency shelter and a, a services only program. Therefore, they will be counted as someone served in both projects. This means that you cannot use the numbers that you see under people served to indicate unique individuals unless you have selected only one project from the project name dropdown. If you want to see deduplicated client counts, you need to use the community performance dashboards. On the project performance dashboards, you can filter by year, project type, and you can go all the way down to filtering by provider name or ID which has been aliased for public use. Let's say that you want to compare your community's emergency shelter programs to the permanent supportive housing programs to see the difference in how long people are accessing those services. You would do that on the project performance dashboards. First, you would click length of stay. And then you would select emergency shelters and permanent supportive housing programs from the project type dropdown. Now you can see that permanent supportive housing is in red and emergency shelters are in blue. And as expected, there are more clients staying 30 days or less in emergency shelters. You can look at the averages and compare across the programs. This is also a great way if you are running a homeless service program or you know your unique identifier, you can select your project from the project name list and compare your performance to the system as a whole or to another project. The system performance measure dashboards show an overall summary of regional activities by following the same seven annual performance measures that HUD requests each year. In these dashboards, you can track basic metrics from a system-wide perspective over time. 
The measures you can see have been identified by the U.S. federal government as key performance indicators that must be reported annually. They are system-wide, meaning that they come from the continuum of care as a whole. If you wanted to identify areas of strengths and weaknesses in your homelessness response system, such as seeing if there's an increase or decrease in length of time people are experiencing homelessness over the years, the system performance measures are the dashboards that you want to use.